Right. Right. So are you ready? Take one. Mm -hmm. And action. Hello and welcome back to another Chateau de Bruges video. As you can see, we're joined by a special guest. This is Grandad Bob. Uh, this is my mum's dad. Um, and he was here visiting this week as it was your birthday yesterday, Grandad. Um, but this isn't the first time you've been at Chateau de Bruges, is it? No, it isn't. I came down with uh, some friends at the end of September and we had a good look and tour around the site at that stage of the game. But coming back now, it's quite amazing to see how much work has taken place in the last three months. Superb. Well, as you guys know, we have been very, very busy. What have we been up to this week, Pam? Um, well, firstly, we'd like to start off by saying thank you very, very much to all of our supporters and gift, gi gift givers. Um, we are truly, truly humbled by your love. So thank you very much. And it keeps us going. So myself and Danielle have been relatively busy this week with some very boring admin jobs, so we won't bore you with those, but it does mean that we haven't videoed a great deal of the stuff that we've been doing. Um, but in the meantime, I have been doing some work in the Jeep, so I hope you enjoy the progress for that. We've also been working really hard, working on some packages for our patron ideas, but we want to make sure that what we deliver is gonna give you real value for money. So. Keep your eyes peeled and we'll bring you some more information on that at a later time. Good morning viewers, Monday morning back in the Jeet. Uh, hope you're all well, hope you enjoyed last week's video. Thank you for all your pos comments, positive and negative. We like to read them all and we do personally reply to everyone. Now this week in the Jeet, most of the stuff I'm going to be doing is about renovating the chateau. So if that's not what you've tuned in to watch, then this is not the video for you, and I suggest you save yourself some time right now. If you do want to see some of that, then we've got a busy week coming up in the Jeep because I have a delivery today of the extra timbers to finish the suspended ceiling in the bathroom and bedroom two area. Um, I have some more plasterboard coming, which will allow us to start to plasterboard the ceiling, which is going to really transform the space. Uh, and I also have the electrical parts coming, all the switches and sockets and all the bits and pieces to allow me to start to bring up some of the electrical circuits and run my final tests on those. Uh, because obviously I want to make sure that they're all okay before we then put the ceiling on and can't access any of the junction areas or, or wiring. So uh, excited time in the Jeep. It's going to be a real step forward this week. Also, we'd like to, if possible, get the plumbing um, live, livened up, get some water in the pipe so I can check for any leaks or any snagging issues before again the ceiling goes up. So I'll try and get that done this week. The plasterboard lift is arriving this week, so that's exciting. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm ready to go. I've got some great jokes for you this week. So enjoy the video, and um, I'll speak to you again soon. So that's the suspended partition timber work finished in bedroom two pretty much. Just got a little piece to put in this corner, but that's not a bad morning's work. Last week, Danielle did a great job of taping and filling these uh, plaster bed, plasterboard butt edges for me. She's done that all the way around the lounge and kitchen area. So whilst I'm waiting for the first deliveries to turn up today, this morning I'm going to put the second layer of filler onto these. Now that needs to be just wider than the... The tape that you see there, um, then we let that go off, give that a, a little bit of a sand down, and then we go across with the, the final layer as well. So there'd be three layers on there in total. So that's my uh, task for this morning. So um, I'm going to crack on with that. So that's all the joints, final coat, tape and filling in this room that uh, Danielle had taped for me. Don't know if you can see on camera, but they've come up pretty nice. We're gonna get a nice 
smooth wall when we come to decorate, which is great. Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to the Jeet, uh, day two of this week. And today I'm going to be looking at plastering the inside of the window reveal. Now the outside is nice and dry uh, and it's been filled and taped. I'm going to give the in, give a go at in, plastering the inside, see if we can get a decent finish on that. So it's a lovely sunny day here. Uh, the birds are singing, the sun is shining, life couldn't be better. So what better time to have a go at some plastering. So I've got my Lutest 2000 mixed up here, which is a great French plaster, uh, all-purpose plaster. I've got my hawk, my trowel, and I'm going to have a go. So I'll... Um, Stick you on time lapse so you can see that it's me and we'll check out the results in a bit. Okay, so that's gone quite nicely. I managed to do this window and the other window that I'd already prepared. I uh, found that quite tricky, what with the, the angles. The, um, you need to keep the trowel around the slope. So there's a few nicks and uh, a few dents in there, but the decorator can get over that, and I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that finish. So just uh, another six windows to go. In the corridor on the first floor, uh, which houses the two rooms that we're yet to renovate. So room four, which we've just started, um, which is going to be the King Charles suite, and the room which I'm currently bedded in, which is the large turret room just to my right here. And at the end of that corridor, we have a, a WC, which houses a toilet and a, and a sink. Now, the toilet's uh, very, very old, the uh, flush is broken, um, and it's uh, leaking from the, from the bottom of the flusher. So rather than try and repair that and buy a new flusher and, and mess about with that. I've decided that we've, we've got a toilet that we've bought for the Jeet, which we're not going to need for a while. So I'm going to use this toilet, take out the old toilet, put this new toilet in, and then we've got another functional toilet up here um, for me to use as a, um, you know, as a facility outside of my bedroom and, and at night time. So that's my task for now. So I've got to rip the old toilet out and put the new toilet in. So let's see how we get on. You may remember back in late summer last year, I uh, took delivery of some paintings from my late uncle Geoffrey that my cousins had kindly donated to the, to the chateau. Quite emotional. 
those paintings have now come back from our good friend Lynn, who's a renowned framer and mounter. And she's mounted all of the pictures for me on some fantastic mounts. And she's even very kindly framed two of the pictures that she thinks would look best in the, 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 the rooms that we've had completed. So um, really nice to see them. I think that the mounting really shows the, the arts work off really well now and brings the pictures out. So we've got two now, which we're going to go up, take up to uh, Ravel and Lutece and see which rooms we think they're going to look best in. And then... Um, once we've decided on a room, we'll decide where in that room we're going to mount them and then we're going to stick them on the wall. So let's go. Okay, so just off camera, uh, we tried another couple of places for this painting and we think we're going to go with the painting where this one originally was. So we're going to take this one out um, and find another home for this somewhere in another room. Um, but the reason we like this one here is because we felt like on the darker wall, it drew your attention more to the darker details in the painting. And that's really the bit that you want to be looking at, whereas on the lighter wall, it really kind of drew your attention more to the whites, which there are a lot more of, and it's less detailed than the colour. So we feel like the picture goes much better on this wall, um, and that's where that one's going to stay. Now, hopefully we'll trawl through some of Jeffrey's other paintings and find another greeny coloured one that can also go in this room somewhere and, and enhance the room even further. So I hope you've enjoyed another Chateau de Bruges video. I know it's quite a short one this week, uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it just the same. Um, along with Mun's return to the Chateau this weekend, she has bought some wallpaper with her that will be going into bedroom four, which is the King Charles room. Um, so you will see some of that next week, not necessarily going up on the wall, um, but we will show you a, a brief sneak peek of that. Um, and as well as that, we've just had a reservation uh, for tonight, which is Saturday night. Um, so we can't wait here around. So what have they got to do, Grandad? <laughs> we Click. can't wait here around. We can't wait, wait we around can't, here. We can't wait around here. <laughs> so what have they got to do, Grandad? Click. No, subscribe, click. Yeah. And press the notification. Yay. Make sure you do it. Other Let's than go. that, bye. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>